In this video, we're going to start looking at basic trig identities. We're going to study the identities before equations, as often we need to use an identity to simplify an equation prior to solving it. To begin with, I just want to define the three major trig functions. We have sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. To do that, I'm going to draw a quick sketch of a right angle triangle. So what we'll have is our right angle triangle, and we will say that this angle right here is going to be theta. So this one is going to be theta, so let's put that on. Here is theta, and then we're going to have the right angle just here. So relative to the angle, this is the opposite. Relative to the angle, this is the adjacent. Relative to the angle, this is the hypotenuse. We can define the sine of the angle, or sine theta, to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. If we now look at cos theta, cos theta is going to be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And finally, tan theta is going to be equal to the opposite over the adjacent. We could show this with a unit circle. I think it's more intuitive if we just stick with this basic right angle triangle. What I'm now going to do is put some numeric values on and we're going to find two new trig identities. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to have a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. So this is one of our special little triangles. 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So 3, 4, 5. It doesn't matter how inaccurate our sketch is. It will just give us some idea of what we have. So what we've got then is a 3, 4, 5. So in this particular case, we've got sine theta is going to be equal to 3 fifths. Cos theta is going to be equal to 4 fifths. And then we've got tan theta is going to be equal to 3 over 4. If we look at sine theta and cos theta, if I divided this, the two, I would get the same numeric value as tan theta. In the same way, I would get the same expression here. O over H over A over H will give me O over A. Or 3 over 5 over 4 over 5 is going to give me 3 over 4. So at this stage, we can now state our first trig identity, and that is sine theta over cos theta will be equal now to tan theta. I've written now the identity sign. So what we have here are three lines. This says it holds true for all values. I just have to write now that theta cannot be equal now to odd multiples of 90 degrees or pi by 2. And we'll look at that just now. So we can't have now odd multiples of 90 degrees or pi by 2. The reason for that is that we can't have division by 0. It's undefined. So if I just quickly draw now the uh, cosine curve, it's probably easiest to use this than the tan curve. If we just look now, we have this point right here. This is 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians. This one right here is going to be 270 or 3 pi by 2 radians. We can't have division by 0, therefore it's undefined. But generally speaking, we can say now that sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. And I've used the identity sign. It holds true for all values of theta. So if we had sine x over cos x, that's tan x. Sine of 20p over cos of 20p is tan of 20p. So what we have here is an identity. Another example of an identity that you might have met in the past, let's take, uh, let's take a quadratic. Let's say we've got x squared minus 10x plus 25. We could write the identity sign now, and this is going to be x minus 5 all squared. So it's not now an equation, it's an identity. So that's the first one to commit to memory. Sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. Let's now look at another one. Let's take these values right here. What I'm going to do is square sine theta. And we can write this two different ways. We could write it as sine theta squared, or we could write it as sine squared theta. This is generally now the more uh, popular notation, and we read this as sine squared theta. Now, if we look at sine squared theta, well, that's going to be 3 over 5, and we need to square that. That's going to give me 9 over 25. If I take cos squared theta, so if we take cos squared theta, let's consider what that's going to be. Cos squared theta is going to be 4 over 5 squared, which is 16 over 25. If I add these two, I'm going to get 1. We can say that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta will always be equal to 1 for all values of theta. And again, this is an identity. 
So if we had sine squared x plus cos squared x, that will be equal to 1. If we had now sine squared of 20y plus cos squared of 20y, that's equal to 1. And we call this a Pythagorean identity. And it's rarely used, I suppose, but you can see where that comes from. So that's what we have. If you wanted to look at that on a unit circle, you could do. Again, I think this is slightly less intuitive, uh, but we could do that anyway. Let's go ahead and look at that. Let's say we had now a circle. And I personally think working with a triangle is uh, slightly easier. Let's say we've got now some angle just here. So this angle is going to be theta. We're going to have a point on the circle. So let's put this point on the circle. That's x, comma, y. Let's give this a radius now and we'll say that that's r. We'll say that this is theta. If I drop down now the perpendicular here, let's consider now this point right here. If we think about this distance, this distance is going to be r cos theta. So we can say x is equal to r cos theta. That's just using basic uh, right angle trig. We can say that y is equal to r sine theta. So using Pythagoras, this length here is r cos theta. This one is going to be r sine theta. So if we square those two and add them, we're going to get now the hypotenuse squared. So we can say r squared, and then we're going to have sine squared theta plus r squared cos squared theta, and that's now going to be equal to r squared. Dividing through by r squared, we can see that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is going to be equal to 1. So as stated, that is an identity, it holds true. I personally don't like that in terms of, um, I, well, I think this is just more straightforward and it's quite clear with numeric values, we can see that's the case. And again, you could just go ahead and use these particular ones. So if you wanted, you could square this one, square this one, and then you would end up now with the hypotenuse squared. So our two trig identities that we're going to use, sine theta over cos theta is tan theta, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. In the video,